Hey guys, it's Kroken from the Rustified Official Servers, here with a quick video about this Thursday's update. Following last week's massive update, the Rust team has been going steady with a load of fixes and tweaks, but they've also come through with some new content for us. First off, the blueprint model has been changed from its placeholder to a proper looking builder's blueprint. I really like the look of this, and it'll make it pretty obvious when someone is actually building. We've got one new piece of clothing as well, the baseball cap. A pretty standard looking model, I think it'll end up being one of the more popular fashion choices. Speaking of fashion, the Rust community has also been tinkering around with the new Steam content creator and marketplace, and we're seeing some pretty cool and interesting clothing ideas coming out of it. It should encourage Gary to continue exploring this concept. The perimeter walls featured in last week's update have finally gotten the proper models implemented and there is now a wood and stone version. The wood wall has barbed wire at the top that makes it difficult to climb with a ladder whereas the stone version has more HP, but no barbed wire. The wood perimeter wall takes 2C4 to destroy, so it's sure to add a new dynamic to base defense. And one of the more interesting additions has been the wind turbine. Not sure if it's gonna make it in this week, but the model is in game and looks awesome. The wind turbine generates electricity, what for? We're not sure yet. It costs 1500 wood, 1000 metal frags, and 100 high quality metal to craft, and must be found from an airdrop, barrel, or rat town. That's a quick summary of this Thursday's update. I'm Kroken. If you want to know more about this update or any other update, head to Rustified.com for more information, and be sure to check out the Rustified official servers.